What up, gang along out? It's Carolina Jackpot Time. Chicken to check, check, checking in. It is Wednesday afternoons. It also means it's June 29th, 2022. College football drawing ever near. Uh, that nasty heat wave we had about a week ago seems to have went into hiding for a little bit. I actually saw some rain today and uh, it's not that bad. It's in the low 80s, so <clears throat> that I can live with. I didn't come here to talk about the weather. Uh, you don't want to be bored with that kind of banter. Hey, what, what, what is the most, um, the most overused term in, uh, smack talk, whether it be college football smack talk, pro football smack talk, whatever, major league baseball smack talk. It's got the, the most overused term. Uh, the only reason I'm making this video is because Somebody commented on one of mine with it today, and uh, this gave me an idea to just kind of go off on this damn silly, overused, uh, wore out, needs to go into retirement, draw Social Security as term. Rent free. Rent free. Rent free. Hey, you're rent free. You know, you're rent free. Anytime, you, here, the, a word to the wise. Anytime that you talk smack about your rival, guess what? They live, you know where they live? They don't live down the street. They don't live down yonder on the right. They don't live just down here. They live rent free in your head. Rent free, they're rent free. I mean, <laughs> what? Uh, I mean, come on. I mean, if that is the absolute best comeback that you can uh, muster up, then why are you even, why are you even commenting? Why even bother to talk shit if rent free is it? Yeah, you know, I can't think of anything else to say to this guy right here. He's really ruffled my jimmies. He's really ticked me off a little bit talking about my team. So you know what? I'm just gonna tell him that we live rent free in his head. That'll put him in his place. That'll shut him up. I mean, come on, no, it's not gonna shut me up. In fact, it's gonna make me flap my big old jaws even more. Um, you know, you know, our biggest rival is the Taters. And uh, I, Friday morning, uh, when I, I got news, or I got a whoof of that uh, stench that uh, came into our uh, football facility on Thursday and then got himself uh, removed from the seven-on-seven -seven count. Because why? Because we don't know why. We don't know if he said something out of the way. We don't know if... Um, South Carolina game got the players were upset by him being there. We don't know if Shane Beamer himself was upset with his presence. He said it was because the players didn't want him there and they asked Beamer to ask him to leave. And so apparently he called Dabo and then, uh, you know, he called the Dutch Fork High School head coach to let him know it was okay, you know, just to smooth everything over. But you know what? Rent free because, yeah, you know, I can't make a video about that. Yeah, I can't besmirch my rival. I can't talk crap about them because you know what? We didn't score any points against them last year. And you know what else? They live rent free in my noggin. Woo!